Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Congo, where we're trying the achievement. What the hell's it called? Oh my god. Brain fart. African power! That's the one! <laughs> we are at war with the Ottoman Turks. It's not my war, and I don't really have claims other than these two provinces. So I'm going to try to siege up whatever I have claims on and see if maybe Hungary, our, our buddy, our longtime buddy and friend, will give us any of our claims in the, in the peace deal. It's very unlikely he'll give us anything, but we'll take a look anyway. We'll take our chances at him giving us stuff. The other thing is we are one tech away from Diplotech 23, which is absolutely fantastic for uh, declaring... What is it called? Oh, my brain is just turned off right now. What kind of war is this? Conquest. It's the wrong kind of war. Uh, what other wars are going on? Florida. No, that's Independence War. Now, ah, whatever. Imperialism. That's what it's called. Waiting for the Imperialism CV. We're waiting for that for a long time. Now, my dumbass thought it was at Tech 23 Admin, but it's actually at Tech 23 Diplo. So we're one tech away, about halfway there. Once we have that tech, we'll be able to take any land we want in a peace deal without paying any Diplo points. And that's a big deal. Not paying Diplo points means you're free to spend Diplo points on annexing your vassals, going over the Diplo limit with lots of allies, or just whatever the hell you want. Culture conversions, even. We... Last episode took the Religious Idea group. We've pumped a little bit of points into Deus Vault. Uh, this is the exciting part of Religious, when you get Missionary Strength plus 3. And lastly, Missionary Strength versus Heretics plus... Not Heretics. Where is the one I want? Um, oh, here we go. Culture Conversion minus 25%. So we can do a lot of Culture Conversions once we finish the Religious Idea group. Oh shit. Oh shit. Here comes that stack. He's back. Get the fuck out of there. Run away. This army keeps bouncing back and forth between Circassia and Elodia. Just crush, 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 back and forth, punching people in the dick. And I gotta stay out of his way, man. I don't want to be in his way. Fucking destroying bot. It's horrible. So what is this war? This is Hungary's conquest of Athens. And he's had the target province siege since the start of the war. And now he's just having fun. He's beating up the Commonwealth. He's beating up Serbia. And eventually he'll probably come over here and beat up the Ottomans as well. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Did some of the enemies peace out? What's going on here? Yeah, okay. Some of the enemies have peaced out. That means I can join this battle. Except I'm going to be too far away. But it looks like Elodia might win the battle anyway. Get him, Elodia! Get him, Elodia! Yes! Good job, Elodia! Nice! I don't know why it says we lost. So Elodia peaced out. Who else was in that battle? Haasa and, the, uh, and Persia. So since Elodia pieced out these two guys during the battle, he then won the battle. I, I'm still going to run away, though. That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Good job, Elodia. And uh, our diplomats are doing nothing. Our diplomats should be busy as hell. I think I'm going to lock a diplomat on Savoy. And perhaps we should also lock one on Russia. Mm, yeah. Just keep two diplomats busy up there. We have one vassal, Timbuktu, and he's doing a good job of, I don't know, existing. He has cores that we can feed. Oh, they're stealing colonies back and forth. Our vassal has cores that we can feed from Portugal and Spain even. So if we ever get to war with Portugal and Spain, and we're probably going to have to for this achievement run, then we can feed our vassal before we annex him. Oh, they got the fort. Nice. Oman started a jihad against Kaffa. Oh, fun. Go get him, Oman. Alright, do I want to try for one of these forts? I don't know if I should. Circassia's having fun up here in the north. The Ottomans may go attack him, or they may just come straight back south for this Elodia army. Hey, Spain's over here. All right, with Spain here, I'm probably okay to move up a little bit. Not too far now. Don't get greedy. Besiege a little bit. A 
I like that Syria just exists as a one pro and Syria and Iraq both exist as a one province minor, because why not? Why not? Okay, got a claim on Lamu. Let's keep claiming this stuff. Mizizima. Seriously, it's called Mizizima. Mizizima. Keep getting discovered fabricating. Oh, well. Shit, 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 shit. Uh, uh-oh. Spain can't get over here. Uh-oh. Can I force March out of the way? Maybe. Can I just walk out of the way? Yeah, I can just walk. All right, I'll just walk. Don't mind me. I'm, I'm not even here. I love kebab. Go oh, away. All right, good. He's leaving me alone. I'll just stay here. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Whew, don't scare me like that, Ottomans. Come on, man. We can be friends. We can totally be friends. Oh, we converted Angoche. Nice. Can we convert Mozambique? Well, we can try. Converts rather quickly, which is nice. Perhaps we should get involved in that battle. No, it wouldn't end well. You know what we don't have is a general. Perhaps I should recruit a damn general. Oh god, here comes a 54 stack. Can I finish the siege before they arrive? Probably not. Alright, get out of there. Run away. Just takes too long to finish the siege. It takes like 40 days. Meanwhile, the Commonwealth is getting completely fucked. What's their war score? Nate, that's only 26 war score? How the hell is that 26? Wow. Wow, look at all these forts that are sieged, and that's only 26 war score? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's 10 forts that are sieged, and it's only 26 war score. How? I don't know. Alright, that stack is going north. It looks like he's going to go beat up Spain. Hey, Spain! Watch out! Spain, be careful! Oh, is he going north? Is he ignoring Spain? Holy shit, I think he's ignoring Spain. No, 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 here he goes. Alright, there you go. Well, good luck, Spain. Oh, and Spain's king just died. That was Spain's king in the army, and his king just died. So this army now has no general. Oh my god, Spain. Oh, Spain, this is not going to end well. Yeah. Oh, you should have had a king. Hey, my vassal's going to help out. I can't even get there because my army can't go through these forts. But my vassal's going to help. Not that it matters. <laughs> How are the Ottomans doing on manpower? That's what I need to know. Uh, o for Ottoman. He has 8,000 men. He's on 30 mercs. Holy shit, the Ottomans have 30 mercs. That's crazy talk. Forty-three war score, wow. You know, it'd be really nice if at the conclusion of this war, Hungary would make the Ottomans break all their alliances. Just no allies. That would be amazing. So please, no allies. Oh, there you go. So they'll lose Serbia, Raska, and Skopje to Hungary. Okay. So he lost this, this, and this. Serbia's out of the war. Okay, looks like the Ottomans are starting to focus in the east. Lost our marriage with Savoy. Get it back. Get it back. Yay. I love that sound.
Tech up time? Oh, yeah, there we go. Tech 23, baby. That is fantastic. Can we go back to focusing admin? Yes, we can. All right, so now that we're tech 23, we get Imperialism CB on everyone, which means we don't need Diplo points for anything ever again, ever. Except annexing vassals. Look at all that shit. And I didn't realize we got nationalism from Mutapa. So that's nice. We get nationalism on this guy. Let me check it. Nationalism. Oh, you have to pick a specific province. Okay. All provinces in our culture group. Interesting. And apparently our culture group... Let me check. Our culture group's pretty big. So yeah, we could use nationalism on him and eat all of that. Well, our culture group's not really that big. It's just Congo and then this shit. But yeah, he's got lands in our culture group, which means it's just really nice. Really low cost for aggressive expansion, low cost to to uh, eat the lands. And then imperialism is similar, but uh, not quite as nice. But for most nations, imperialism is going to be great. Hungary is the Pope. Okay. How many claims does Hungary have? Um... Well, he didn't even have claims on these provinces. He's got a couple on the Ottomans and a couple on Commonwealth. You know, not many. He didn't, like, claim the entire border. He should have, but he didn't. All right, there's a 45 stack. Where else is the Ottoman army? I know he's got more than 45 dudes. Commonwealth wants peace already. You would think that Hungary would peace out the Commonwealth to get rid of the biggest threat in this war. So he could... Oh, hey! The religion in Zaramaganda changes to Catholic. Very nice. Very nice. You would think that Hungary would peace out the Commonwealth because they've clearly defeated them. They're at low enthusiasm. They're ready for peace. Tons of exhaustion. But they're not peacing out. And I'm not sure why. He sieged all the border forts. Except Bessarabi. He sieged almost everything. I don't know why they won't peace out. They should. Keep coming this stuff. Tanga and Bagamoyo. Bagamoyo. And of course, Zanzibar. We do need Zanzibar. Oh, right, 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 right. Usury. Thank you for reminding me for usury. Completely forgot about it. Our inflation will now start ticking down again. Good. 0 0.08 per year. Which is not much, but it's something. We're losing claims on Elodia. I don't like that. Keep claiming them. And it's idea time. Second missionary, very nice. We may not always use the second missionary. All right, there's the Ottomans' armies. There they are. We may not always use the second missionary because we don't have the bonus 3% missionary strength yet, which is kind of what we want to convert the Sunni lands. So I may just not use this because 40, that's such a long time. So I really want plus six revolt risk for that long. Lip taco. Lip taco. Um. When does autonomy increase go down? Thirty one. Yeah. Okay. It's probably worth it there. Certain provinces like Lip taco, where we recently had a revolt, we can convert those before we'll get any rebellions. So that's fine. Other provinces, eh? Not so much. 45 months is a long time. We have a mission for a province. Mission is for Conquer Masawa, which is here. Wrong war for that mission. But yes, we do have a mission for a province. A 
I'm wondering if we can go to war with Elodia very soon here. Like, perhaps even during the Ottoman War, we could just go to war with Elodia, just eat him. Pull an X. Elodia and the Ottomans have white peace. Interesting. How close is Kaffa to not joining? Nah, he'll join. What if I declare on Kaffa? How co close is Elodia to join? Oh, Elodia won't join. Okay. But just barely. Just barely. Interesting. Alright, so the Ottomans are now firmly entrenched in the north. Let's see if we can't sneak in and steal a castle. And do I need a general? I probably do. Alright. Eh, it's not bad. He has a siege pip. I like siege pips. Yeah, this is the point where Hungary should peace out the Commonwealth. There's no reason to keep the Commonwealth in this war. Just take some of the provinces and get, get them out of the war. Take your claims and move on. Make him split in half or something. Make him release a big nation. Whatever. Uh-oh. I saw that our Ottoman army move. It's scary. He was here, and then he moved. Oh, there's the peace. Sugla, Saruhan, Bolu, Sakis to Hungary. Prague, Premazil, and Novi Sox to Hungary. Ah, oh, we didn't get anything. All right, it's fine. GG. But we did get Black Flag, which is nice. I love Black Flag. All right, let's walk this way. And I guess we're going to declare on Elodia. So we have all the claims we can get on Kaffa and Elodia. Yeah? Okay, cool. He doubles your conversion speed? What do you mean he doubles your conversion speed? What are you talking about? He doubles your conversion speed. Oh, you mean the second missionary? No, it doesn't double your conversion speed. It doesn't. Yes, you can convert two provinces at once. It doesn't double the speed. Oh yeah, how goes the French Wars for Independence for all his colonies? How's that going? Looks like they're winning. They're crushing France. Yeah. Take that, France. How many troops do Elodia and Kaffa have? Kind of an important question here. Elodia has 11, which is nothing. No, he has 7. And Kaffa... Oh my god, Kaffa's got 50k? How does Kaffa have 50,000 guys? What the actual fuck? Is his land that good? No. How do you have 50 guys? I don't know. How does he have 50 guys? Cleansing of heresy is interesting because we could force religion, religious conversion. I'm not sure if I want that though. Oh, he has gold provinces? Oh my god, he's got 34 mercs? What the fuck? <laughs> wow. And yeah, let me check. Does he have gold? He's got one gold province. That's not much. But it does help his income quite a bit. What's his force limit? 54 force limit. Wow. Well, I'm sitting on 46 troops, so I probably shouldn't go to war with that until I bulk up my army a bit. So why don't we go ahead and bulk up our army a bit? What do we want? Buggy bullshit? Let's get buggy bullshit. What does it cost? 1,025 ducats. Alright, we'll save up some cash.
can't believe he has that many troops and 34 mercs. Like, what the fuck? How do you afford 34 mercs? All right, go ahead and claim the island of Zanzibar. I just want to claim all of this, everything on this coast. Bobos, what are you doing? I can't see the screen. Bobos. Bad Phobos. Bad Phobos, I can't see this screen. Phobos. Very bad kitty, you know that? Very bad. Go away. Lower troop funding? Yeah, we can do that. Does he dominate the Gulf of Aden trade node? Well, we can check. Why can't he move? Get out of the way. Trade. No, not really. He gets eight ducats a trade. Yeah, we can check his loans. Let's go by alphabetical, I guess. He only has five loans, although they are probably for thousands of ducats. Thirty-four mercs. Truce with Mutapa is over. That's interesting. We could beat him up on the cheap. Oh my god, Mutapa's got 55,000 troops. Holy shit. Everyone's just getting so many troops. All right. Build an army. Buggy bullshit. Not enough dot. Oh, not enough manpower. Oh, crap. We're only getting 500 manpower a month. So shit. Well, how much manpower do we need for this? 44,000. Oh my god. When am I ever going to have 44,000 manpower? No, oh, hey, independence. No. Oh, they failed. They failed their independence. Are you kidding me? They failed. Wow. Uh, I would love to build this, but 44,000 manpower. Let's just fast forward, but... Korea has westernized off Russia. All right. Let's burn our money on other shit then. I mean, we're at peace for now. We might as well do this. So merging all of our armies in that Mutapa war is absolutely crushing us now. 
absolutely crushing us now. Seems like it was a bad idea right now. Check if we can lower autonomy. Yeah, but I don't need increased revolt risk. We can lower autonomy, yeah. Gober. We can lower autonomy here in Gober. Okay. about it. It's too bad. Oh, what is this? What is this? Nationalist war. Oh, fun. They're fighting the emperor in a nationalist war. I like it. Why not? Yeah, we could build some mercs. We could do that instead of the regular soldiers, but the mercs have high upkeep costs. I'm not sure how much we should do. They also don't auto upgrade. So when we tech up, we're not gonna get new mercs. We're gonna have to delete the mercs we have. And we're upgrading at the next step. We have to delete the mercs we have and then build new mercs, which just seems silly, incredibly silly. And yeah, I'm tempted to get rid of exploration and put in quantity. Because we really don't need exploration right now. If we get rid of it, though, we won't be able to colonize those last three provinces over here. There's three more provinces to colonize. And I don't know if we need them for the achievement. We may or may not. In the Sun God achievement run in South America, we did not have to colonize everything. We just had to have cores on all the provinces in South America that we owned. And then we had to be the only tag in South America. If it's the same thing, then we actually don't need to colonize these. But I don't know if it's the same thing. We might need to colonize these. So I don't know how the, how the actual achievement works. We may need to keep that or not. You don't need them? Okay. Well, Mr. DFNGMA, if you are correct, that means we can get rid of exploration. All right. Quantity it is. And we want Diplotech 24. Um... I mean, it does give us a little more trade efficiency, so sure, why not? France versus Great Britain. What is this? The British Peeman Imperialist War. Fun! Spain has no air? Oh, wait, what? Oh shit, Spain Spain was in a regency and he died, so he gets an interregnum. Oh man, I was hoping for a union over him, but it just didn't happen. Okay, interregnum's fine.
Tree for stability, very nice. Now we have to decide, do we want our 50% national manpower? Or do we want to save up just a little bit and tech up for this tact? I think we need the tactics. We need the tactics. Tech 23 is just so important. All right, let's build some manpower buildings. Finishing some universities, very nice. So Hungary got a little stronger, the Ottomans got a little weaker, but not much changed. Hungary didn't even take the province he declared for. I was hoping he would make him release the Mamluks or something, but oh well. Alright, so 44,000 manpower. Oh, what's this? Haas has started a war against Kaffa. Oh, fun! Oh, oh, good, good, good. Kaffa, how's your army doing, my friend? He's down to 32,000 troops, and every single one is a mercenary. Wow! Kaffa only has mercs. Well, this is probably the time for us to go to war. Since he only has mercs. And here we are, Tech 23. So we have to decide what kind of cav we want. Dragoons, there's no choices. What about soldiers? Ah, let's see. Fire. Fire. Morale. Well, probably go for the fire and morale. Spain still has an interregnum. Hmm. What a weird situation. Alright, why don't we increase funding? Get ready for this war. Kaffa may not even join. We'll see. Well, he'll still join, for now, but we'll see. I'm going to wait for him to get a little weaker, and then we'll declare. Oh, no, you don't. Seven years of Regency. Fucking kidding me. What an opportunity that was. And that was our 6-3... That was our... We had a 6-3-3, three, three, and then we had a second 6-3-3. Three, three. And he took over after a Regency. So it seems our good kings are not living very long. Right? The 633 was a regency, and then he came to power. That was a four-year regency. And now we have a seven-year regency for a 635. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm excited for a 635. But seven years of inactivity is just awful. We're also out of time. So thanks for joining me, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. We have seven years ahead of us of, I don't know, maybe enforcing peace or something? <laughs> I don't know. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. You have a king yet? Yeah, he's got a Von Habsburg. So Spain lost our dynasty.
Damn. Let's get the marriage here before I forget. All right. So that'll do. See you guys next time.